All right, what is going on guys? So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Guillotine 2099. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know about it. have seen the crazy gameplay, probably has a six star rank too. Uh, but you know, we got it for the content creator program uh, after Comic-Con. So, I mean, people that want her already got her, have already made content and everything. So, um, if you want to skip this part, we're just gonna go over her abilities real quick, talk about, you know, where those abilities can be extremely useful in the game. Uh, when you just want to skip to the gameplay, go ahead. If you don't even want to watch this video because you think you already know a lot about Guillotine 2099, that's cool, man. I'll see you in the next one. I understand. It's all good. Uh, but yeah, so let's talk about her synergies. This is this first one, man, is busted. Apparently, this synergy like kept happening over and over and over. And it was insane, right? Like if you're fighting on Abomination or a Biohazard node or something because uh, it, it's you gain 70% of a bar of power each time an immunity prevents an effect. Uh, so right now, I don't think it's working at all. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it, it's getting changed though, so yeah, we're not really gonna talk about it because I, I can't even. I didn't even get any gameplay of it, so it, I try it now. It, I just, it just doesn't work, so I don't know. We got one with uh, Morningstar and Guillotine, uh, which is Guillotine 2099 plus 30 percent degeneration potency. That's all right. Uh, Guillotine 20 percent bleed ability accuracy and potency. Eh, okay. Morningstar plus 20 percent critical damage per captured soul. This could actually be pretty good for Morningstar. Um, I kind of want to test it, but I have Suicide Zone, and uh, playing Morningstar with Suicide is really difficult to build her souls up, so I don't know, man, but I feel like that could make Morningstar a lot better, uh, but she's already really good once you build her up, it's just building her up is a pain in the butt, so, and then some critical and attack synergies with Mephisto and Puncher 2099, so nothing too crazy going on there, uh, but guys, this champion is insane, like, she, she is absolutely insane, dude, she's like an Aegon She's like a robotic Aegon that, like, is more practical in a way. Uh, like, her and Aegon, there's, there's pros and cons on both sides, of course. Depends who's going to be better for what. Depends on what it is. But, like, for, for like, let's say Alliance War or something like that, Guillotine would be a lot better because she's a lot easier to build up. Because after one fight, the main thing you want to do with Guillotine 29 is just finish, finish a fight with an L3. Because if you finish a fight with an L3, as long as the opponent's at 5% or below, it's guaranteed to kill them. So just hold it up till the end. Uh, and if you kill them with the special 3, uh, it says right here, if Guillotine uses attack to knock out her opponent, their soul is digitized and absorbed, allowing her to start the next fight with 100 hits in her combo meter. And once you get to 100 hits, man, like, below 100 hits, she's like, yeah, eh, she's alright, you know. Above 100 hits, like, holy crap, man. She starts scaling like crazy. She gets so much going on, and it's... It's ridiculous. Uh, so basically, how she works is she has a pre-fight ability, and it's these digi souls, the digital souls, right? Uh, she's a robot. If you guys didn't know, it's actually Morningstar is in Guillotine 2099. Uh, if you didn't read the storyline, basically, Guillotine stabs Morningstar and puts her soul into a robotic Guillotine 2099. So now this is Morningstar, so that's why the whole soul thing is like that, and that's why they're digital. Um, but yeah, so the first one is Huntress Function. Every 20th hit uh, attack on the combo meter is a guaranteed critical hit. If this attack is a special one or two, all hits of the attack are guaranteed to be critical. So that's good uh, because Guillotine 2099 actually does not crit. She just doesn't crit when she would crit. Instead, she applies a degeneration debuff, which is all right. Uh, it's good because no one's really immune to degen, except for Ghost if she phases it. Um, but yeah, this is a way... I, I like this and I don't like it. I, it's... It, it, you don't get a whole bunch of crits, but this champion doesn't need it. But the reason why I do like it is because, you know, sometimes you just don't want to crit. Let's say against Mr. Sinister, you know, he's going to be healing up those crits. You just, you just don't crit. You don't have to worry, right? Let's say Scarlet Witch. How does she get all her stuff when you crit? If you don't crit, she won't trigger a damn thing. So, like, not being able to crit, I think that utility was only held by, like, Crossbones. Ghost kind of had it too, but you know, Crossbones just has it straight up, and now Guillotine has it straight up, whereas if you don't turn this on, man, she just won't crit. So, you know, that's that's good utility in and of itself, uh, and being able to control your crits is nice. Uh, and then we have Stability Function, well above 99 hits in the combo meter. meter. Uh, medium attacks, life steal, 5% of damage dealt. This is alright, uh, but unless it's a crit, it uh, the, the damage, the healing isn't too crazy. And then Assault Function, well above 99 hits in the combo meter. Medium attacks, burn 5% of the opponent's current power. This, when I first read it, I was like, oh, that's really good, but it's it's all right. It's a little unnoticeable when the opponent's power level is pretty low, but I feel like this could be really useful in Alliance War. It's kind of like Dormammu, you know, like how when you finish a combo with his medium attack, he power drains. Like, if you have the assault function on and you're above uh, 100 hits, 
an alliance war, as long as there's no special power gain, your opponent's never going to get to an L3 as long as you finish your your uh, your combo with a medium because you're going to power burn at the end of it. So I think in war that could be very useful. Like Guillotine, she's like a more useful egg on. Like I could actually really see her being used in war because after one fight, man, you finish with L3, boom, you're at 100 hits for the next fight. As long as you keep that chain going, she's going to be quite reliable. Uh, and you, you know you can and after each fight you get two souls uh, back and you can use two souls to do whatever you want. Uh, so you can activate two of these abilities. You can never activate all three though. Um, and then here at the, with the heavy attack, as long as you use a heavy attack, man, you gain a combo shield. So you just start off a fight, parry, heavy, boom. If you accidentally lose your combo, you're safe. Uh, so that's nice, a little safety net there. Um, and then, yeah, those are pretty much the main points. There's something else that if you leave up one of the souls, because you can use two to activate a pre-fight ability, one of the digi souls, if you only activate one pre-fight ability and don't activate any more, then you actually start the fight with a armor buff. Uh, and it'll it'll reform after four seconds if it's removed for some reason. So this also makes her a Havoc counter. Uh, she's actually really good for fighting Havoc. So I'm going to show some Havoc gameplay in a second. And then uh, we'll also show some Rumble Legends uh, gameplay where, you know, you can see it's some higher health pools. And she, uh, she can do some crazy stuff. She has pretty much the main points about her, guys. She also has a, a bit of regen uh, if she goes below 15% health, which is nice. Uh, she's a robot, so she's immune to bleed and poison, which is really nice. Makes her very suicide friendly. Uh, and then for her signature ability, uh, when she struck, she can gain a combo shield, which is just like another layer of protection. Um, so yeah, but she really does not need to be awakened, which is very nice uh, for like Seton, who has her as a six star. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much the main points of her abilities. Uh, we'll talk about more in some gameplay. Let's go uh, hop to it. All right, guys, real quick before we get to the gameplay, um, I, I skipped over this. So I was going to talk about it in the gameplay when you can actually kind of see it happening, but I'd rather talk about it now because I actually just did the math on it and it kind of blew my mind. I didn't realize just how much it, it, it does, dude. So Guillotine has a combo meter ability. So uh, her attack rate increases by 21 with each hit in her combo meter capping after 100 hits. So just getting up to 100 hits, you're going to increase your attack. And then once you finish with the L3, you'll start the next fight with 100 hits and you're going to have all that attack increase already. Uh, but that's not that's not what we're, here to talk. we're talking about. At a combo of 100 plus, Guillotine's sword becomes empowered, dealing a burst of damage, 28 direct energy damage for each hit above 100, scaling with base attack and capping after 600 hits. So 28, that sounds like nothing, right? But you can go times that by 500 because that's how much hits you can get. Caps at 600, starts at 100, caps at 600, so there's 500 in there. So 28 times 500 is about 14,000. It's gonna be on each hit. If you get to a combo of 600 with a guillotine, man, this is only rank three. That's 14,000 damage per hit. And if you uh, look at a, a rank two six star, uh, Metal Sonic's dude six star, I took a look at it. I did the math on that. It's about, it's close to 28,000, bro. It doubles. That's per hit. She's going to be so crazy for Labyrinth. But even like the Labyrinth health pools aren't even big enough to probably get to this point. Like, of the abyss dude she's gonna be ridiculous so i just wanted to talk about that one ability first do the show tell you guys the math on it before you get to see it uh because we don't even we only get to like we don't even get to 200 in realm of legends with um a rank three five star here but yeah all right <laughs> enjoy the gameplay guys all right guys so we're back before the gameplay starts i just want to let you guys know that this is a rank three guillotine 2099 and that's all we get from the content creator program unfortunately so, you know if i had a rank four i would have done a bunch of labyrinth gameplay because i think guillotine can be very strong in labyrinth uh but you know i tried her in labyrinth as rank three and you just i couldn't kill red hulk uh, before i really got her ramped up so i just i wasn't feeling it um but yes yeah, so we've got some rank three guillotine going into act six it's actually 6.1 uh this little final quest the sentinel one there's a havoc is like the second fight so on the first fight i built guillotine up finished the fight with an l3 so now going into here we start with 100 hits so this really only needs one fight to really ramp up which is really nice and yeah, we have the uh, armor buff, so we're we're safe from Havoc's um, his uh, plasma detonations. We don't have to worry. Uh, it's unfortunate uh, that we don't gain willpower though, because Guillotine is a robot. Um, robots don't uh, benefit from the willpower mastery, unfortunately. So yeah, we, we, it would be nice if we were healing up from those, but uh, unfortunately, no. But as you can see, we're just safe. We just gotta play this fight normally. Just be careful and uh it's all good really so yeah right here i'm gonna launch my l2 when it's critical uh so as you can see the whole thing crits that's nice of course havoc's basic abilities lower your uh crit damage so it would have been hit more if 
it wasn't a havoc, it was just, just another mutant. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, like we're, we're fine. We're stacking up the degen, they're putting in some work, and uh, everything's going good. So that was the only crit fight ability I used was the critical one. So every 20 hits, we're gonna crit. Uh, and the reason I did is because I wanted to save one soul just for the armor armor buff uh just so we're safe from uh, his uh, plasma and everything and yeah after each fight you get two souls back so you can pick which one to do for the next fight so it's really nice very customizable and yeah as you can see she just destroyed that havoc this is a rank three champ in a in an act six fight so yeah pretty great stuff there now let's go into jump into realm of legends some bigger health pools we got two fights in there the two hardest fights uh scarlet witch and wolverine so let's jump to it all right guys now we're jumping into scarlet witch and realm of legends and uh, yeah, I got through all of Realm of Legends with uh, with like pretty much full health. I'm using the uh, the Life Steal pre fight ability, and I think the Crit one. Uh, I once I went in, I was like, oh, I shouldn't have used the Crit one. What if uh, Scarlet Witch power drains us both when I'm about to uh, finish the fight, and then I couldn't use an L3, so I was a little worried about that. But yeah, we're only gonna crit once every 20 hits, or unless I do a special, there will be more crits. But so there's not a whole lot of crits to worry about. Uh, but it's really guillotine's damage, man. It really just comes from... It's one ability I didn't talk about when we were reading through it because I wanted to talk about it here when we are really ramping her up. Um, but you see those little red, those numbers in red, man. That's where guillotine's damage comes from because basically how she works is once she hits 100 hits, for each hit on the combo meter, she gains... Uh, that, she, that little... Those red numbers, they just keep going up. And I think it goes up to like 600 hits. So... Dude, it is insane. Like, we're only at a, basically, we're only 67 hits into this fight. Uh, and this scales up to, to 600 combo. So, she's going to be so good at future content. Just look at those red numbers, dude. That's that's saying 2,000 in red uh, right now. And that number, dude, it just keeps going. Like, I wish I could have, I wish I could have gotten the extended rage timer in Labyrinth. Just so I could really see what I could get those red numbers up to. Uh, because as soon as we get to, like, 150 hits man we're hitting so hard that even these realm of legends opponents we're just cutting through them uh so yeah dude it, it's really insane i think she actually might have one of the strongest damage output potential in the game and the cool thing about it is you know like proxima she hits insanely hard with her specials and everything right but there's damage caps guillotine here those red numbers and red dude they bypass damage caps uh because they're they're not like uh regular physical damage uh, so it, it's just crazy, man. Just look at the damage we're doing, dude. It is, it is insane. So I'm going to hit her below 5% here and then drop the L3. As you can see, we're at a full yellow bar, 100% uh, with that life steal. It, it adds up over over the course of fights. Uh, and the special 3 is guaranteed kill, so she's dead now. So that means we're going to start the next fight with, again, 100 hits. So I don't have to worry. And the next fight is Wolverine. So, you know, I wasn't sure if she could take Wolverine or not. You know, I thought I might have to build like, a really crazy combo to be able to do it. But uh, Guillotine actually has a similar feature to break OG Guillotine, where on the L2 she places a, I think it's, I believe it's called a Spectre debuff, where it basically uh, reverses healing by, or it like stops healing by like 120%. So like it stops healing at 100% and then starts to reverse it for 20%. Um, and pair that up with the Despair Mastery that lowers it by another 15%. And then if we have any of the degeneration debuffs, uh, each one of those is going to lower by an additional 15% with despair. So, yeah, we're going to try to reverse that healing, man. And, you know, I didn't think we'd really be able to reverse it. I thought it'd just be more of a heal block if I could just keep getting back to my L2, though. Uh, but you're going to see it uh, doesn't really matter because it actually reverses it a pretty decent amount here. So I'm trying to keep his power at full uh, just to reverse more of it. And... Uh, yeah, right here, he only has one regeneration uh, buff, which he wasn't really triggering a bunch of them. I don't know why. Uh, right here, he throws a special. I didn't really want him to, but that's okay. And he just kind of stopped triggering the uh, the regen. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure why he wasn't really activating any regens for me. Because I would have liked them to, to reverse the fight faster. But as you can see, we're our, our, our damage output is doing decent, man. I, remember, we don't crit. Uh, but those numbers in red, dude, they're just ridiculous. When when you build that combo up, it's, it's really insane. I think Guillotine's going to be one of the best options for the Abyss of Legends when that comes out. Um, her potential, man. She has so much potential. It would have been really sick to win her at Comic-Con. Uh, those people with the, the 6 dot rank 2, man, they... Oh, bro... They're going to be set up for uh, the Abyss. And we dropped a little L2 here to finish off that Wolverine. And he went down in 
96 hits, so, you know, not, uh, not too bad. Not too bad at all, but, uh, guys, that's gonna do it for this Guillotine 2099 video. Hope you, uh, did enjoy. We like it a little bit. Uh, she's crazy. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go for her. I would like to get her, but... I'd rather focus my attention on Dr. Doom and Mr. Fantastic going forward and Silver Surfer. So I'm going to keep my attention on those guys, but uh, Guillotine is definitely pretty crazy. I, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I, when, when the Abyss comes out, it's going to be insane. It's going to be some insane gameplay everywhere, but uh, we'll find a way through without her, I'm sure. That's enjoy for this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please do drop a like. It really does help me out. Subscribe if you like to see more content. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.